Okay, guys, here I am dancing around the page, uh, starting with a really light value, doing a line in the middle to represent where the eyes are, and then slowly with a light, light, each pencil, I'm carving everything out gently as I can, being as careful as I can. Going light, 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 lightly carving everything out, the eyes. Always go light, dance around the page with really playful lines. Notice how soft this is. This is soft boundary city. Haven't even gotten anywhere close to doing hard boundaries. Okay, kind of working in the shadow for the nose. Now I'm softening the side. Side of the nose is kind of a soft boundary, kind of a hard boundary. Putting in light hatching at the side. Dancing around, slowly carving out those lips. Notice how I'm going dark in those specific, really important corners, right? Under the dark shadows. Um, going ahead, dancing around the sides. Haven't really put in many hard boundaries yet. Biggest hard boundary, the irises, right? That is a hard boundary. That's a sudden change. Those dark pupils. Most important, second most important hard boundary, the top of the eyes. Darkening those eyelids or the eyelashes. Really darken those. So you're only doing hard boundaries once in a while. Corner of the eyes would be a hard boundary. Remember, the face is a collection of forms, right? So you got a 3D nose coming out, soft boundaries around it. 3D lips are coming out, soft boundaries behind it. Always paying attention to where that eye is, right? Now, taking a break to go ahead and now that I've solidified my biggest hard boundaries, now I'm going around, I'm softening the edge. My next big hard boundary would probably be the hair and the side of the face, so I'm carving that out before I darken it with value, a hard boundary. I'm going to carving it out with a lighter line before I shade around the edge. Now that I got the shape right, putting in some dark shading and I'm really shading that hard boundary. Soften, soften around the side. Soft, soft around the side. Keep it soft. Okay. Shading the side of the nose. All right. And really solidifying the eyes. The eyes are where the life is. Right? Make sure you review how to draw a human eye. Okay? And we're just darkening things up. Darkening the iris. Darkening the side of the uh, pupil. Right? Those are the most important hard boundaries. Because you got hard boundaries happening in there. Those dark lines. Those sudden changes. Then that makes the, the rest of the face softer. Like the side of the nose. Right? The nose is a collection of soft boundaries. Um, and then the hair is also a hard boundary because my hair is dark, but my face is lighter. So really bringing down the hair with a lot of playful lines, taking risks with lines, softening the side of the cheeks. Go ahead, turn the pencil to the side when you're doing those soft boundaries, guys. Okay, playing around with the top of the hair. Soft, soft, soft. Soften the side of the face. You can also soften with an eraser. Create those soft boundaries that can help you to blend. Hard boundary alert! The hood is a hard boundary, right? Because that's a sudden change. The hood is at a way darker value, right? And I'm making the the hood kind of soft on the inside because then that's a slow curve, right? So figuring out, helping the viewer to understand where the hood starts, where does the hair start, and then what are the different forms? What are their relationships? My different forms are my nose, my cheeks, my eyes, the, the hood itself is a form. Those different values and those hard boundaries help the viewer to understand um, where different forms start and begin. Remember, the face is a collection of forms. Always take a break, zoom out, and shade your background. By taking the time to shading your background, bringing down the value of your background, that helps the viewer to understand that light is hitting the face. So always go ahead and make sure you do that. Shading the side of the hood, bringing it down, da 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 Dancing around the page. And then really trying to show the depth here of the hood, how far back the hood goes. I'm not going to do a ton of shading in the back, a ton of hatching in the back. I'm going really light, and I'm going to smooth it because the face is farther forward. If I did a ton of, ton of like detailed shading in the background, then my eye would think that the background was forward. But I want the viewer to understand that the face is closer. So that's why all my detailed shading... If I'm going to do any detail shading in the hood, it's going to be in the front, right where the face meets. 
And that kind of pulls the eye around the face. Having that detailed shading around the hood pulls the eye around the face. Dancing around. Never get stuck in one place for too long. Always zoom out. Showing the hard boundary between the hood and the hair. Right? So really having that line right there. Showing the texture of the hair. Um, Sid the Kid asked, how do you draw a hair? Well, this is how you draw a hair, right? Take risks with line. First draw the shape of the hair, Jesus. And then dance around inside of the hair. And to show like the texture of the hair. Is it a messy? Is it smooth? Okay, using the eraser to create some soft boundaries inside of the hood. Bringing down that value, turning my pencil to the side, shading, shading, soft boundary, soft boundary, keep the background soft. Okay, hard boundary alert. The edge of the hood is a hard boundary. So that's why I shaded right there. Sudden change. The hood ends, so I'm going to have a sudden change of value. Helping the viewer to understand that the hood is ending right there. All right? All right. I love it. Shading, dancing around the page, dancing around the page, bringing, now I'm softening the cheeks, softening the chin, softening under the chin, all soft boundaries. Under the chin is kind of a hard boundary though, to be honest, right? So that's why you see a change, but it's a soft boundary going into a hard boundary. Okay, bringing down the value. As you move on, you bring down the value more. Notice my hard boundaries are the eyes, the lips, the edge of the hood, and then soften everything. Soft city for the rest of the face, right? I would say one hard boundary would be like the right edge of the nose right there. That, that's probably a hard boundary, right? That's why you see a sudden change right there. Okay, darkening, 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 dark city. Okay, but really soft, keeping the light value soft, always zooming out, making the hair in front of my eyes really hard. Right, showing that my hair is getting long, quarantine city, shading the side of the hood, softening. Really always take your time, take deep breaths, softening the side of the cheek, showing that the light's hitting the cheek in the front. Then take a break, go back to the background. You always want to dance between your background and your foreground. Make sure the viewer understands that's in the front. Use a tissue in the back, but don't go crazy and blend the face. Then you lose all that great hatching, all that light hatching that you did in the face to understand. So, like, make sure that you don't overblend. Okay. Adding some details down at the bottom, softening. That's a hard boundary. Neck, hard boundary, right? Want the viewer to see that that's the neck and that's the hood. What's the difference? That's a sudden change. Maybe softening the neck a little. I could probably add more shading in the neck, but I always get lost in the background. I want to bring that background down. Okay, I hope this helped.